Okay, Hugo, ready for another great day? Let's go! Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Hugo and today we are going to do LCC and ACC, so X-Pilot in the night. So as I don't have <laughs> good material for recording at night, I don't know how this will end up. So if you are new to the channel, uh, welcome to the channel. And uh, I usually publish videos about my EV transition. Uh, so from an ICE car to an EV. Okay, we are about to get, get inside the highway now. And let me then activate self-drive after here. So as I am in a turn, the system do not allow me to activate, but now I can activate self-drive, okay? So for the people that ask me to do the self-drive test uh, at night, I, I, I have to tell you that I don't feel that there is any difference at all uh, on the way that the system performs, okay? Uh, this is my feeling. Uh, my feeling is that the system performs exactly the same way uh, on uh, uh, at night or during the day. If you do not have uh, maximums, if you don't give enough light um, for the car to see in front of you, then probably in a turn or something like that, the car may have the need to... Um, let me just change lane here. Uh, the car may feel the need to... Um, um, sorry, to slow down a little bit more because it doesn't see uh, that better um, in front of you, okay? But it's, it's just uh, some situation that you can control because if you don't have cars in front of you, you can control with more light. So with headlights on, you can control that. But the, the rest of the situations, I do feel that it's more or less the same as uh, during daylight. Let's see here, usually it slows down here. It did slow down a bit. I am now at 110. So let me go back already to 105 because now we are in a 100 um, zone, okay? This is the highway that I usually use for the tests and it's not, again, I will always say this, it's not the best highway um, to test these systems because it's a lot of turns, a lot of curves, and not only that, it's, it's high uh, climbing, then going downhill, and then uh, just having a lot of turns without visibility, um, increasing speed to 120, then decreasing to 100 several times during the, these very small segments of highway. But as you can see, it's, it's performing. I don't see any problem until now. There was a little slowdown over there that we were in a 100 zone and we were at 111 or 12 or something like that. So the car did slow down a bit. Let me just move to here to the other lane. Now we have this construction zone. I will leave this like it is so that you guys can see how this works. At night, I should be at 80, but I am still at 105, okay? On the previous version, 5.6 and also 5.4, of course, but on the 5.6, the car was breaking like hell on this place, okay? Slowing down like hell. And now, as you can see, it's doing it without any hesitation, so it's much more... Uh, it's much better uh, in this way. So, as you could see, it did it. It's... Uh, construction zone with cones and uh, zones that are blocked and stuff like that. Even some um, places, the maximum speed was around 100, uh, sorry, 80 or 60, but the car did perform very well at 100 without any problem, okay? So I have just uh, speed up here with the wheel so that we can move um, from these guys. I will now go back to that lane over there and then resume back to 105 as I was before to continue here my drive. Now the car usually slow downs here, okay? 
it's a 100 zone, but it's a very tight turn, and I have it at 105, okay? See now, see the car hesitating, making micro adjustments, trying to keep up with the speed, so... I felt it did well, maybe even better than on daylight. At least, I, I don't know how to explain this to you guys. What I felt now with the slowdown and accelerating, it was more smooth, okay? It was not that um, fast and um, you, you, I didn't felt it um, immediately. So it's more like a human way to do this. So if you are afraid, sometimes you just raise your feet from the accelerator and the car will slow down a little bit and then you feel confident again, you just accelerate again. It felt like that now. So now we are exiting the highway. So I will have to go down to 80 here. Let's continue here with 80. We are now in co-pilot mode, so I will leave it again. He is going to do it because we are going to transition from one highway to another. But now we are in co-pilot. Or better, we are self-driving, so ex-pilot still, but at 80 kilometers per hour. Let me put even 90, just to check one thing. So if I move a little bit, yeah, so I am still in co-pilot. I have been saying in all my videos that it's 80 kilometers per hour, but I believe that we can do it until um, 90 kilometers per hour, okay? Now I am already on the highway. The car didn't, doesn't have still the speed limit. It will now, so it updated now 100, and now it is 120, and I will just press the stalk, and I have activated the 120 also, so I am at 120, but below, of course, uh, I am after this truck. So I am moving now to the middle lane and let the car do the takeover. And let's see how the car handles this. And now I will go back to the right lane. So I do feel, again, uh, I don't know if you are able to see it or not, guys, I am really curious to see uh, this footage to see if you, if there is anything to see and use on this video, so I don't even know if I will publish this. But I, I feel that the car is uh, driving well at self, uh, at X-Pilot, uh, so it's doing what is expected to do. So let me just move to the other lane to take over this one. Our car is accelerating now to 120, that is the maximum speed. Let me test one thing, guys. I will try to now to do it. It doesn't let me. So, see that? It didn't let me because there was a straight line uh, on the on the on the road, so it doesn't allow me to do that movement. Okay, so it works well in this matter. So now we are entering in a 100 zone, and I have a speed camera in front. So I will adjust my speed to 100. Okay, using the stalk, and the car is now slowing down. Sorry. It's slowing down to 100. I would say that the slowdown should be more soft, okay? So this speed camera is right in front of us. Now this guy is very fast and he will have to brake a lot. Because the speed camera is here. So guys, what do you think uh, about this? Uh, I, I do believe that it behaves well, um, or at least exactly as in daylight. So I am using exactly the same highway um, that I made already uh, several videos uh, for the channel on the X-Pilot. And now at night, I do believe that it's more or less the same. So I, I don't feel different uh, here. So I don't feel that there is um, uh, a more difficult situation that the car 
has um, on these uh, type of uh, roads. This is my feeling at least. So now I will have to reduce to 80 here, or let's put 90 first, because I will leave now the highway, and again, it's a small segment to another small highway, and then we will close this activity. So with 90, it did change, okay? So it didn't make the co-pilot, as you saw, now I am in co-pilot. Let's see how it handles this, because this is a very tough turn at 40, it's doing well. He is, he is slowing down, so he is the one doing it, it and it is making it at 50. And I, I can do this faster, okay? It's, it's a 40 zone, and he made it at 50. I could have made it faster, so I could help on the cold drive just accelerating. Now, I am doing that, so as you can see, I am on cold driving. He is controlling the lane and I am speeding up, okay? So we can do this. Now I will just move to the other lane. And now, as I am here, I will just activate again the speed to 120 that we saw before. And we are back to the highway at 120. So guys, we are ending now the video uh, because we are already almost um, out of the highway, so it's like 500 meters from here. So, I don't know, guys, let me know in the comments what you feel about the self-driving um, behavior uh, on this ride. So, thank you very much again for uh, the time that you have uh, spent here watching this video. Of course, leave your like, subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed, and of course, share the video with your friends, comments, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you very much.